Hello. My voice sounds terrible. I need water. Okay, anyway. Well, welcome. <coughs> welcome. And how you doing? How's your day? How's it going? It's been a while. I mean, especially for me. Um, I realize, well, I haven't been doing as much as I should, so I have a lot to talk about. For starters, I've lost my phone at a concert. So my sister invited me to go, to, well, she, yeah, she invited me, she told me about an event that was happening for a vegan festival, which <coughs> totally enjoy, really enjoy the food. The only downside is I was, um, okay, let me tell the story properly. So we was in, we was having fun. It was at night time. It was a uh, concert was going on. The concert happens at the end of the vegans festival, around at the end. Um, when the concert ends, the whole thing ends. The whole event ends. So before, cause so before the very last concert came on, it was like just before the second person, like the first person came on, and I'm like, all right. And then the second time for the next person to come on, so I was like, okay, let me go get my vegan ice cream. I was hoping no one would be online um, by that time where the line would be shorter. Nope, it was a quite a long line. But while um, I was going online, a woman was going around giving out kabocha and it wasn't bad, it was actually tasted good. It tastes pretty fine. I still have my French though, so <laughs> I don't know how. It's not something I could drink in one gulp. I can't drink the whole bottle, but I do drink like bits. There you go. Um, but yeah, they had um, kabocha, she was giving kabocha and she said whatever is remaining it was for free. So I I was one helping that to be there was people in front of me who was like going to get it so I asked them that they would like please get it for me because I'm alone um and they said hey hold on for me so I was like okay thank you so I want I didn't want to have them waiting for a long time for me to come back so I was like okay let me quickly go and come back um so I was like I was just rushing at first I was just like fast walking walking fast and then suddenly my my walking turned to run and I'm like okay why run? I could feel my body losing balance I don't know how I was losing balance oh my god I feel so fucking old anyway um, so I was losing balance and I realized and then I fell on the floor. It didn't hit, it didn't occur to me that I lost my phone because while I was waiting online, I had my phone in my hand. I was pulling onto that shit tight. <laughs> um, so when I went back online, I was looking for that specific phone. I couldn't find it. By the way, just to, just to be clear, the one phone I lost was the one I took to with me to Japan. Um, so anything on that I lost, which including the Manta apps, which is very sad. Um, I know what it is, but I, so if I could buy a new phone, I could just download, download it on that app. Download it on that app. Anyway, I digress. Um, also now with my tablet, I have no space. So I am slowly losing, losing access to my favorite app, specifically the floor planner, which I use to plan my floors for my mangas, um, the housing and so buildings and rooms and so on and so forth. But I, again, I digress. But on a more happier note, I'm so glad I joined the SWCI. Um, it really helped with all the seminars they give, especially for, for towards marketing, because that's what I needed the most help with. I didn't even know where to start, or what to do, and doing that helps me motivate and give me some ideas of what to do. And I have a whole chart that shows like what I'm planning to do and to get on that. And at first, I was going to market um, the storybook, but then I came with the idea randomly. Um, I wanted to do an illustrated book. I also want to do it regardless, even after like I was planning to do it after. But I was like, why not do it before? Why not? What's stopping me? <laughs> um, so I and yes, yeah, so I've been taking a lot of no notes on marketing. I've been also wanted to do another mark um, seminar, which has to do with um, creating a website. And I was holding back when I had my money, I could join it. So I also want to join. And then with that seminar, I realized um, one of the things I said is find a critique group. And I find writing critique was easy. That's easy. Um, that shit is easy because there's a lot of them all over the world. Well, all over, but mostly all over in um, America, specifically. Um, I found George, Wisconsin, even in New York. Um, so you can find reading groups, that's easy. But what I'm find, finding hard to find was critique groups towards illustration or art, things like that. That I feel like you have to join. You won't find a critique group that says writing critique, like you find, again, easily find um, like meetups or events, um, event space. No, that I have to find, like, I feel like the place I was before. Um, I thought it was called, but I, I joined it when I graduated because I wanted a space to do art, and that's one of the reason why I joined it, And then, but then I realized um, that place will probably be a good place to connect to artists, and that's what I need, I need a place to connect with artists, artists, artists and illustrators, 
specifically would have been more helpful to get their idea and critique. Um, so it's just it's one thing to critique yourself, it's another to have another eye to look at it. And that's what I wanted to do, especially if I want to create this art book because I want to create it professionally and I want to put it out to other pe other people. So I want another artist or someone who knows who has that eye um, to know what to look for. By the way, anyone my hair is a mess. I know. I've been trying to take it out because I was supposed to wash it, and instead of washing it, I um, I instead I edited the video so I can make this video. <laughs> Just have space on my camera. Speaking of which, um. As I was saying, this critique group, I was having a hard time finding critique groups, um, so I've been searching for that. I could have done this yesterday, but I decided, I'm, fuck it, I'm just going to do it now. Um, the video, record a video, but anyway. So I did find a group that was something like it, but didn't give me much critique. More than one, they didn't, well, first of all, they couldn't critique mine because I couldn't show mine, but they couldn't critique, um, they didn't really, when the others showed others, they just like, oh, that's nice. That's not the kind of critique I want. I want someone to tell me, shit was shit about my work so yeah so um hopefully and maybe the seminar um that's coming up in february depending on where it takes place i could join it i'm going to try to harder to join the winc women's in comics um um women's in comics um women animation there is a woman animation maybe i should join some of their some of but it's from animation but maybe i could join it still still um their conferences more often I'm not a member, kind of, <laughs> I, but I do get updates about their stuff. So just connect to other artists just to get more of a critique, to build a critique group to get more insights. Um, but as I said, when I was talking about not going back to, shit, okay, the light is in my eyes, the light, yeah. Um, so not to talk about um, the videos I was editing. When I was doing it, I was like, wow, I really slip off in terms of studying because like, it would get so tedious and frustrating just to keep studying and memorizing. And then sometimes because you get so mo monotonous that you just make a whole bunch of mistakes and you feel like you're failing. So you, st so I just tend to like stop and start and, just, and then there's nothing to show me if I'm projecting good and better again. Because I don't have like um, people I need to talk to or there's not, I'm not like surrounded by Japanese where I could um, test out my level. Where I'm like, oh, I can read this now, or oh, I can understand what they're saying when they put an announcement, things like that. Or I can say this now to another Japanese person. I should do that. I should look for more Jap um, Japanese groups I talk to. But I'm like, the only one I found so far was that little kid in New York, and it's like, it has it in an evening, which is which I don't like to do. I want to get something during the day, or I don't have to travel at night, especially when it gets to winter where it's freezing cold. Um, and it's outside. The place where they they have the the conversation is outside, so I'm not very fond of that. Um, but beggars can be chosen. If that's it, that's the only one, that's the only one. But right now, I'm mostly focusing on my books. <laughs> also, I've been trying to get back into writing Japanese. I have no way to, how to correct it. I might make, when I make my list, I might probably post it on there. Post both English and Japanese on there. I don't know. I will probably have to get more insight on that. Again, I'm going to try to join that webinar for um, making um, your website. There has a um yeah so any other updates? No, I don't think so. Oh, and since I want to do a illustration book, I decided to focus on illustration, um, based on my characters, and I decided to use this October, uh, Inktober, or in this case, SDWI October, to focus on illustrating those characters with those prompts and figuring out a style I would like because I've been trying to because I definitely know I want to do marker. I definitely decided I'm going to definitely do black lines, so I've been testing out, here are some illustrations I've been doing. Um, I did markers, but I realized, although I like it, um, it's not the type of style I'm going to go for. Um, I definitely do want heavier inks. I really do like how the, with the heavier inks, it makes them more cartoonish though, but, um, but I still like the printerly feel, so I'm going to skip to, I mean you can see this on my Instagram. Um, this one, where it feels like cartoonish, but it also feels that um, darkness, and I do like the heaviness of the lines. It does feel that like mood, although this is not that mood I want to give. So I did try the same thing, but saturation, and this time to make it. And I, this time I used cell shading, cell shading. But I think the cell shading makes it too cartoonish, which I don't like because it's already cartoonish with the black lines. But I still want to keep the black heavy lines. I think I want to add more line work. I think I should add. Yeah, that's what I should do. Um, so for this one, maybe I should add more. I'm going to do shell shading again. 
I'm gonna try it again, but without the saturation and maybe less, um, less because I just want to try shell shading, but for less, um, I don't know, keep it more simple like this one. I put way too much ink and I think I used too much marker. Like this one, it was too much marker. I think I should, that's why, that's, that's the part that borders me the most. Everywhere else is fine. But I'm gonna try one more time with shell shading right here. And after that, I think I'm gonna try more heavier lines. I think I'm gonna go with more heavier line work with painterly feel. Yeah, with the painterly feeling um, for this this last one and keep it saturated, desaturated. Because I like it, but I just wanted it to be more saturated. That's the only thing I like about this one, um, which one is, that's why I did. Um, I do like the desaturation, how it looks with desaturated and making everything more gray and cleaning and definitely the skin. So, yeah. These are not the illustrations that we've seen in the book. These are just me testing it out, the war. Anyway, that's it for me. Um, I've been Gabby. <laughs> My hair is a mess. Until next time.